Uh, I'm going to continue on the cheap series for the, uh, the Montero. This is a MP3C player I bought for 15 or 20 bucks off of eBay. Does everything except play CDs. It uh, has Bluetooth, MP3, you got a USB port, auxiliary port. And it's got uh, your four speaker channels in the rear antenna spot and your power supply. On these Monteros, you got to buy this cable right here. If you have the factory affinity system, and what it does, this plugs into the amp wire coming out your vehicle. And then it gives you these little speaker cables right here. It's just that, like if you're running speakers on your vehicle to each amp. That's basically what these do. They go to your speakers and then, well, they go to your amp. Then from your amp to your speakers. And all you got to do is plug those in the back of your radio on these little slots here. And uh, hook your remote wire into your main harness for your uh, vehicle. But yeah, let me uh, get some of this tied together and we'll cut back to it. Uh, wire it up. This uh, radio had a top harness, which is just purely speaker wires. And I'm not going to need that. The uh, amp attachment it ties in to ground uh, the remote wire to the harness and to this uh, radio player. This radio player has a ground for it, but on the Montero, you really don't need one because it's grounded through the antenna wire as well as the radio is screwed into a ground. So you usually don't have to use them, but if you do, you can just ground it anywhere in the, in the body of the vehicle. Just put your uh, crimp connect with a round ground connector on it. Just ground it anywhere you want, as long as it's metal. But uh, we're going to walk out here and we're going to try to tie it in. Oh, and also... Uh, this particular radio doesn't have a illumination wire, which is this orange. That means it's usually constantly illuminated. It's always going to be lit up, so you don't really need one. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. Uh, this is how you take the factory radio out. And when I was talking about the affinity system, your radio will say affinity right here. And uh, I just pop this little cover right there off. Just be gentle with it. Older vehicles. And then after you do that, you got four screws, two on that side, two on that side. After you take those screws out, you'll have to put the truck on and slide this always back in low gear while holding the brake. So you can slide this out. I'm going to do that real quick and uh, get back to you. Okay, I got the radio out. And as you can see, this is the amp wire I was talking about. This radio has two antenna wires, but you only need the big one. And the radio screws into this bracket here and the bracket screws back into here which gives your radio a ground but the antenna is also grounded on this vehicle so you've got two grounds just remember to take the cd out your old cd player before you take it out because i had to put mine back in to take it out i'm gonna get these brackets swapped over okay i got the uh stereo hooked up, up as you can see we didn't use none of these speaker wires it's all running straight off the amp let's see if i can get a better view for you You got the gray and the white going on one side and the purple and the green going on the other side. And you probably hear a staticky noise. All you gotta do is on your ground wire, since it had nowhere to hook up, you can just hook it anywhere and then it kills all the uh, ground road noise. See, so, all gone. So you may have to hook up your ground, you just have to run another ground. But anywhere metal that's connected to the body should work perfect. But uh, I hope this guys this helped you out. Like I said, this is my budget build. I'm doing it just to help others out. Let me turn this off. Yeah, I got it. Uh, doing it cheap because a lot of people all over the world who has these trucks, whether it be a Pajero or a Shogun, a Challenger, whatever it is in your area, some people don't have a lot of money and they do what they can. And this radio and wiring harness and everything, I got about thirty to forty bucks on it. I'll leave a description on the bottom of the amp wire connector so you guys don't have to guess and figure out which one it is. You just click the link and buy it right off Amazon. It's, it's only 
10 bucks or so. It's not really expensive. And it even comes with the wiring harness. So it comes with the ant wire and wiring harness all together. You don't even need a stereo kit because you use the factory brackets. But uh, I hope this helped you guys out. If you don't mind, please subscribe so I can keep making videos, help others out. And uh, we'll be making some more videos here soon. Thank you. God bless.